starting their 16th different lineup that is tops in the NBA. It's been a year of discontinuity for the Heat, but still able to remain afloat at 17 and 12 overall, eight and six here at the Kaseya Center. And Manabayo's Heat coming off a win a couple of nights ago here against the Atlanta Hawks. Adebayo and Reed at the circle. Oubre gets the tip and couldn't cash in on the layup. Here's Hawkins Jr., one of the more promising and impressive rookies so far. Miami went to Adebayo on their opening play last game against Atlanta. They clear out the side for him, Monica. And there's his mid-range game, which has been money. For back-to-back 30-point performances? What's up on this Christmas day? <laughs> Philadelphia on an eight-to-nothing sprint right now, and Hero stops the hemorrhaging for the Heat. Tobias Harris is, and already is off to a good start. Three on the shot clock for Melton, and bam, at a bio with another clip for the reel for his defensive player of the year team. Perfect timing. This is a great defensive possession all around for the Heat, but then, of course, your closer or should I say eraser, <laughs> in that case, eliminate the shot opportunity. Harris got it off in time, didn't draw iron. That's going to be a shot clock violation here this year. You think that momentum from Friday carried over? I'll tell you what, it sure looks like it. Mm -hmm. Haquez with a nice cut. And a great feed from Adebayo. Haquez, one-on-one against Morris. They clear out the side for him. Showing the rookie a lot of respect. Robinson pulls the three, got it. And that is, of course, signature to Duncan Robinson's game. The best record for Christmas Day games, and they are also boasting a 6-0 record here at home. I asked Duncan Robinson what gift they could give Coach Spolstra into keeping that narrative the same. He said, win the gritty game. The team that has earned their right to play on this night is most important for them and a great gift, but they have a lot of work to do here right now if they want to push their record to 9-0 for Coach Spolstra. I spoke perfect, Angel. He'll guard one through four. Mm -hmm. And after the free throws, Philadelphia up by four points. Haquez oh. with a quick sit dribble. Got to the rim. Jaime Haquez Jr. Passes out of the double team to Morris for three. And Love with those customary great outlet passes. Haquez got it. A little one-two step. Yeah, with this amount of time, I imagine you look to go to Bam and set up either Kyle or Duncan. There it is, out of bio, a long two. Got it! Yeah. Or do it yourself, yes. bam. Yeah, he's gonna have to play through some of the bumps and, and finish some of that stuff, but I'm not worried about him. The 15 to four run for the Heat, for them to have the lead right now. As successful as Nick Nurse was in Toronto, this is the new organization, and he shared with us a little bit about the buy-in and the trust that he was able to develop pretty quickly yes. with these Sixers players. 20 wins says a lot. Duncan Robinson <laughs> lights it up. Yeah, but you know how Miami does it, right? Yeah. They just hum along, stay on the track. I think if you looked at them 29 games into the season last year, by my count, it was 14 and 15. And, and we know how last yep. season Bam Dowd is. And Bam Adebayo gets the hook shot to go. 76ers hanging around down by nine as we approach seven and a half minutes to go in the opening half. Hero turns the corner. Corner three from Lowry, and he rings one up. Not gonna lie, I thought Duncan missed Lowry. <laughs> We've all heard it. Yes, indeed. That song had us in a chokehold for a good stretch. About what, four summers ago, maybe? And Bam putting a chokehold on that Sixer defense. He ran into his own teammate there. You can hear all of that collision. I'll tell you what, Tyrese Maxey might be the most joyful professional athlete on the planet. This guy never has a bad day. Good result by Tyler Hero. And that, I think, it's hard to stay exuberant and joyous daily in and out. So when it comes deep within, from deep within, it's beautiful things. Yes. And so is that backdoor cut off that screen. 11 points here in the first half. <laughs> this will certainly be a Christmas to remember for that young man. He's doing a great job of just being around the rim. Kevin Love from deep connecting. And down to seven. So Mo got that clean a look because RJ Hampson was hovering towards Tyrese Maxey in the corner, and his primary defender was already stuck in the paint because of the penetration. Oh, Akis with some slick, classy footwork. Out of bio. Hero rejects the screen. Got it to go off glass. Such a great move by Hero. Here's Maxey. Around the screen, got it in the lane, lobs it up. Bamba couldn't connect, goes right to Harris, knocked away. 
by Hawkins. They got a two on one. Hawkins Jr. fouled by Ubre and Jaime Hawkins will go to the free throw line for a couple shots. By the Sixers in terms of getting to the paint, looking to create off of their pick and roll. You know, Jimmy Butler heard that Hawkins mentioned him as being his favorite player the night he was drafted. Mm -hmm. And then during an opportunity to do a commercial, Harris with the crossover. And Bam Adebayo with his second block shot of the game. Disgorging that into row two. Of note, Bam gets off two feet here. Goes. This looks volleyball-esque. Continues for the 76ers. Now five of 20. Adebayo initiates, got to the rim and slams it. Bam! Hero flares out to the corner. Cross court to Robinson. They run him off the three-point line. Great passing. One more. Everybody got a touch and a cash out by Hero. I mean, Miami has the privilege of having three guys on their roster that shoot 40% from three.